in a more vernacular uh, way, um, it is uh, quite clear that uh, Laura Loomer is completely bat crap crazy. Oh, yes. Tim Pool had Laura Loomer on his show talking about Democrats committing crimes and retaliating against Democrats for going after Donald Trump for his crimes. And the majority report with Sam Cedar and Emma Vigland broke this down. So we're going to take a look at what Tim Pool and Laura Loomer had to say and how that kind of went off the rails and then we're also going to see the majority reports analysis of this. So first, let's take a look at what was actually said on Tim Pool's show. Laura Loomer with Tim Pool from Friday, May 31st. Idea that I would, the, the, the idea that we decide, I'll put it this way. Should Democrats be in jail? No question. When Donald Trump gets elected, should he start locking them up? No question. Should there be lists of Democrats that need to go to jail? 100%. And the reason for that is they, they've committed crimes. We need to make sure. Pause it. Now, that- listen, we've done about four of these from all different right wing talkers this week, yeah. and they all say the same thing. General crimes, general people. If there are crimes out there, list them. Yep. List, list them. them and the perpetrators but they never and they're exactly right about this you know if crimes are committed it doesn't matter if democrats or republicans are committing them or both take them to trial put them in jail or whatever the the sentencing would be arrest all these criminals and but name them you have to name them and what their crimes are never do because whatever it is that whoever said you know sent around these things who was it who else said this earlier this week uh megan kelly so you've got a whole portfolio of of republican commentators here if you um you know when they send out the the uh talking points at least go to page two get the details tell us who we're gonna send to jail who's gonna be on the list and it's interesting too that they're not going with the witch hunt thing which maybe they think is played out they're going with the retaliate that's a very good point. The double stint, yeah. Yeah, it's it may be the case that he's uh, um, he broke fraud the law, liar. but we're gonna throw uh, you we're, guys gonna, are fraud we're gonna too. try and convict yeah. other criminals. Yeah. You know what I say to that? Please, yeah. please. Donald Trump gets elected, should he start locking them up? No question. Should there be lists of Democrats that need to go to jail? One hundred percent. The reason for that is they they committed crimes. We need to make sure that when Donald Trump wins, we've got. An attorney general, a deputy attorney general, a head of the CIA and the FBI. Uh, Cash Patel would be fantastic. We can have attorney general. There are some names floating around. And then they can start uh, having their investigators and, and the feds issuing subpoenas, pulling up evidence, and with real evidence, bring them to judges for warrants. Then these people can spend three three years of their lives fighting tooth and nail for the crime against the, uh, the government for crimes they committed and we can prove yeah. and the reason why we put them on trial is that we can show the whole world we will uncover what you've done we will make sure everyone knows and you will be held accountable for it not just jail they should get the death penalty you know we actually used to have the punishment for treason in this country <laughs> oops <laughs> so this didn't go so well for tim he did not like what she had to say there. That was a bridge too far for Tim Pool. Uh, yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah, we need that. Right. We need a whoopsie here. But- and the thing is, Tim has gotten in trouble before. He's had other guests that have said similar things to this. And he doesn't want YouTube taking away his monetization or whatever, or shutting down his channel. So... He, you know, you can only push the line too far before you might get in trouble. And Tim doesn't want to do that. But um, do we? OK, OK. So this is not the first time that someone has like put Tim's uh, channel in jeopardy and his future earnings in jeopardy with death threats. We have this from when was this? This was from uh, January. earlier this year. Wow. Oh. No, we don't. We, 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 and Tim Pool was not happy about this at all. What what this guy had to say? This might do if they get in charge this of the government I've heard while they're my lefty friends. What? You know, is like uh, I, I think I think it's only fair that I don't take the heat for what you said, Jesse. And I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm getting people attacking my character now for having had to take the show down because you made two illusions to killing people. 
So I'm not trying to be a dick right now, but like I've got five. <laughs> this dude is like sees no problem with this making saying that people should be killed, I guess. And but Tim Pool wants to make money, so this guy's coming on his show and jeopardizing his operation. Five hundred messages of like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why are you taking the show down? Are you fucking with us? You're but, trying to make money." So I thought YouTube took the show down. No, I had to take the show down. Okay. I had to take the show down because you made two allusions within like the span of a couple minutes to murdering people. Okay. After I explicitly stated in the pre-show, do not make allusions to violence. Okay. Then went on to explain. We keep having people. Hey, uh, don't come on my show and threaten to murder people. <laughs> that should be a pretty standard, pretty standard guideline to have that you wouldn't expect your your guest is going to be saying that people should be executed. People come here and saying they want people killed or people should kill people or they can be killed or things like that. 18 minutes into the show. You had made two allusions to one was the helicopter thrown over the Pacific Ocean. No! That's kind of like a. No! Fuck, we're gonna get we're gonna get into that probably, but you know we'll see what happens. But then you said you can go kill the human smugglers for all I care, and it's just like that's it. Like, it's not it's not a YouTube thing. It's Rumble would take us down for this. I've had the conversations with Rumble about it, and so it's a question of for the people who are right now who are slamming me. Here's a little tip to Tim Pool: don't have lunatics like this guy, whatever his name is, and Laura Loomer on your show. Sane people aren't going to say these kind of things. Vet your guests a little bit better, and you won't run into these problems, Tim. Claiming that it's a big news day, and I intentionally took the show down for fake reasons to make money. Well, no matter what platform we're on, that show would be removed, okay. and we would face legal liability. And so the question is, can we have a show if we persist? That show would be deleted, and now... Can we have a show without having lunatics as our guests? I don't know if Tim Pool can do that or not. Be the end of it. Pa okay. uh, pause. Okay. So like, like, let's just, I mean, we don't need to watch any more of this. I think the answer is no, you can't. You can't seem to have a show without having every couple of months somebody come on and issue some type of death, death threat. You know, you got we people have... talking about killing people here, killing people there. Then Laura Loomer comes on, says they should be sentenced to death. It's like... I don't know. We've had we have a lot of guests on we the show. We have over five a week, probably. Yeah, yeah over five. Um, At least I mean, five. often to a show, and usually they're journalists or activists or professors. We don't vet them for uh, the. Uh, for every us. every time before we have a guest on, uh, the reason Dude, our Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin checking with their guests. Are you going to say that anybody needs to be executed or making death threats against people or saying that they need to be thrown out of a helicopter? The reason why we go uh, to the uh, break is when I go like, hey, listen, uh, if you were planning on issuing any death threats, please do yeah. not do that today. I control yeah. F their tweets for the word news. Exactly. If, I, if I do a sound tell... check, if I do a sound check, I'm just like, yeah, come on at 12.15, you'll be in the waiting room. Uh, also, just no, like, don't say you're going to kill anybody. Don't advocate That's for murder. David Dayan has a real problem yeah. with this. I mean, David, he, I'm, he I'm hovering over the end show button when David... Exactly, yeah, we got a big red button. They go yeah, like this. I mean, it maybe it says something a little bit about the... The, the, what, what your show is trying to advocate for that you can't your guests that you invite on can't stop saying we need to kill people somebody might want to vet your booker uh that's what i might want to do i would start there with like uh wh who wh why does this keep happening to me it's, it's, it's very represent strange. politics yeah. that were only achieved through violence and it can only be maintained through violence i'd also argue that like so I'm sure people are going to say be saying oh but what about the left what about all the threats on the left i don't i mean Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin aren't having people on their show making death threats and trying to execute people and all this kind of stuff, throwing them out of helicopters and everything. Tim Pool, he's attracting these people. Some of them are kind of nuts, like Laura Loomer and the other guy that he had on there as the guest. But what do you think? Do you think, I mean... Should Tim Pool be censoring these people or should he just be letting it fly, letting them say whatever, and then just taking the chance on he gets demonetized or his channel comes down? You know, people will talk about freedom of speech. You have freedom of speech from the government can't stop you from saying what you want to say. But YouTube and these different channels are private companies, so they can censor people. That People may not like it, but that's just how it works. So Tim Pool, to his credit, 
he's trying to work in the frame in the within the system of YouTube and Rumble and whatever else he's on TikTok or whatever, and they're going to be looking at this kind of speech as violent, and they don't want that on their channel. They allow a whole lot, but death threats and talking about throwing people out of helicopters, they're not going to allow that. And Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin are right about Tim Pool. Maybe he should be doing being a little bit more careful about who he has on his show rather than getting mad at the people once they come on the show when this is apparently their shtick and they don't seem to see any problem with that. But what do you think? Do you agree with Tim Pool in terms of shutting these people down who come on his show so he doesn't lose money? Are Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin right that he has to be a little bit more careful? What do you think? Make sure to like, comment, regardless of what your comment is. If you like Tim Pool, you don't like Tim Pool, you like the majority report with Sam Cedar and Emma Viglin, or you don't, make sure to comment. Give me a like and subscribe if you like this content, and I will see you in the next video.